Hi, my name is Vizkov here, and you're watching the Shiva Minute. Bones are right now the only method to animate characters in Shiva. If you have morph targets or just move things in the timeline or scale and rotate them without bones, they won't show up in Shiva. As you can see here, I've created a character with a bone structure. Those bones are arranged in a certain hierarchy. I have a root bone, which is normally the pelvis, a structure that goes down the legs, the other leg, up the spine, onto the head, and the arms, including the hands, here in a group. Now you have several methods to bind the bones to the character. This is also a necessary step. Traditionally, bones have a certain influence radius called envelope. Those envelopes can be edited in size and strength, and according to the distance, they bind the mesh to the bones. There's another method called weight maps, which I will demonstrate now. I have a little skeleton tag here, which shows me which bones are currently assigned to the mesh. While scrolling through the bones, I can see that they have a certain influence. Red is 100%, and it all limps down to yellow and gray 50 to 0%. Cheetah offers two methods to bind the bones to the mesh. One is distance and one is heat. Distance is nothing other than the envelopes. While heat mapping is the new wonder tool, I did not have to fix the weight maps once with this tool, even in confined spaces like this narrow leg space. They bind just fine. As you can see from my object browser, the bones do not have to be parented to the actual mesh which is this tag here, but instead have to be assigned via the skeleton tag. Bones should have no rotation and a scale of 1.